ನಾವು ಶ್ರೀಯುರಿತ ಬ್ರತ ಬನಾರ್ಜಿ thank you sir i rise here to support the bill with some suggestions as a student of politics i learned from my days of inception in the political field that education is a theater where battle of ideas are performed not only this i have learned from great teachers of mine that the ideas of the ruling class in every epoch are the ruling ideas not only this the class which has at its disposal the means of material production also in turns controls the means of mental production when i stand here to support the bill with some suggestions sir see the, uh, the question of access which has been dealt at length starting from dr mongekar to respected tarun bijay and other people this question of access is a very important when we speak about higher education because as far as the uh, i don't want to talk about the developed countries even in developing countries the age group of higher education that is 17 to 23 years Uh, in our country unfortunately even after so many years of independence we are still lagging behind this uh, enrollment in this higher education age group is not very fine so whenever we try to discuss anything related to higher education this comes into fray now uh, this uh, research led institutes uh, uh, this uh, in uh, experience of the central universities are there i am in complete agreement with the functions that has been mentioned in the bill but you we must remember about the experience of the central university bill that was passed in the 14th lok sabha what happened in many universities universities were created universities were declared without any infrastructure and more importantly there was a motive of centralization sweeping powers were there in the hands of the vice chancellors we have seen not only in the new established institutes but also unfortunately in existing institutes the case of delhi university is there where the vice chancellor has been at the helm of affairs it was an attack on the democratic curriculum it was a completely and centralization tendency so i just want to mention here the minister is here that uh, it has to be kept in mind though the intentions are good but we have to make sure that the misuse must not be there now general aspect of the bill it has dealt with the, the importance of it i don't want to go into that the research led institutions uh, which have defined objectives of promotion of indian economy but i have some reservations on the objective of the a uh, way of the growth is put forward the growth must be an inclusive one the question of access comes into fray again and the question of weaker sections that has been dealt no mention regarding the reservation policy of scst minority obc in the board of governors because uh, without ensuring social justice dr mungekar was dealing at length in a country like ours in a country like ours where nothing can be straight jacketed where unity lies in diversity the question of social justice question of putting greater emphasis on the social justice is a need of the hour and i believe that the government will take adequate measures so that this uh, issues can be addressed now the main stakeholder as i belong to a I come from a student movement i happen to be a part of the student movement still the main stakeholder are the students definitely other people are there they have their own roles very important roles are there but the students are the main stakeholders but there is no provision for the students in any form in any forum now how to question the issues because in many such institutions particularly these institutions of technical learning professional institutions students at times are subjected to mental and physical torture so no redressal forum is there for the students in this bill and one question that definitely comes into fray that uh, this formation of this lingdo committee lingdo committee have been formed during the upa government time uh, there have been many undemocratic suggestion but the most democratic suggestion made by the lingdo committee was that you must have uh, elections in government and government aided and even in private institution so this question because in the senate or the syndicate the representation the student representation that point needs to be mentioned i feel now uh, we have been hearing about making in india i also want to congratulate the minister she spoke about think in india this is important because this question of brain drain that is happening but if you want to make this into reality this question of making in india thinking in india you have to invest in youth investing in india's youth is the necessity of the time in greater way you have to invest it 
Now, Tarunji was speaking about our glorious past, about Takshila and Nalanda. Takshila and Nalanda were not only universities, they were areas where battle of ideas were performed and battle of ideas uh, continued throughout the country. As a student of literature, I just want to mention, when Iliad was being completed, Homer was trying to write Odyssey. His ended Iliad in that fashion through Odysseus who was living. Odysseus, Odysseus said at that time that if I ever live to tell my story, let people say I walked with giants. Men rise and men fall like the winter wheats, but these names will never die. Let people say I lived at the time of Achilles, the tamer of horses, Hector, the tamer of horses. Let people say I lived at the time of the mighty Achilles. So the question is, if we can create a manpower, it's a question of investing in our country. 54% of the Indian population has an average age of, sir, of 25 years. So we must look upon this population as a resource, not as a liability. And therefore, let the battle of ideas continue. And one suggestion, just one point, sir, I won't take a time. One slogan I want to present before the government, let equitable access to quality education be the thrust of the government. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bernardi.